Okay, as to what you're going to do on May the 1st, we'll save that mostly for May 1st. But uh, I, I am intrigued by the idea of this working group or some group looking at the other side of the ledger. Do you agree with me that every American should be concerned as to whether or not a warrant was obtained against an American citizen with uh, unverified information? Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, the, the Fourth Amendment is one of our most cherished uh, civil liberties. So you think that's an appropriate thing to look at and you will look at it? Yes. Okay. Uh, do you share my concern that if you're going to open up a counterintelligence investigation against a presidential candidate, uh, that you have to have a very good reason? Yes, absolutely. And a counterintelligence investigation is designed to protect the target of foreign influence. Is that correct? That is correct. It's not a prosecutorial function, is it? No, unless unless espionage or some violation of espionage laws is, is develops. So would it be odd that the candidate was never really briefed by the Department of Justice that your campaign may be targeted by a foreign entity? That is one of the questions I have is, is nor I feel normally uh, the campaign would have been advised of this. Okay. And can you think of a good reason right now why they wouldn't have been? Uh, I'm, I'm interested in, in getting that answer. They had two former U.S. attorneys uh, in Chris Christie and, and Rudy Giuliani involved in the campaign, and I don't understand why the campaign was not advised. Apparently, uh, when Senator Feinstein had a person on her staff that was supposedly connected to the Chinese government, she was briefed. Is that the normal way you do things with a counterintelligence investigation? Uh, I, I think... Well, she was briefed about a staff member that they right. thought might be connected to the Chinese government, and she took action and fired the guy. Is that sort of a, what you're supposed to be doing? Uh, that's what I would, if I were Attorney General and that situation came up, I would say, yes, brief, brief uh, the, the target uh, of the foreign espionage activity. Okay. So you're pledging to this committee and I guess to the country as a whole is to find out what happened with the warrant application, find out about the counterintelligence investigation to make sure that the law was followed and if there was any abuse of the law to report to the Congress and the public. Is that accurate? That's accurate. I, I just you know, want to satisfy myself that there were no abuse of, of uh, law enforcement or intelligence right. powers. Well, I'm glad you're doing that. When it comes to Mr. Mueller, are you talking to him about the 6E material? I haven't personally talked to him about the 6E, but his people are, are working on the 6E material. So there's a collaboration between your people and Mueller people about what to take out and what to leave in on the grand jury side? Yes. As it was described to me, people are sitting at the same table. Right. Uh, when it comes to ongoing criminal investigations, you're making sure that prosecutors, they have a say about what's released because it may jeopardize their cases? That's right, the people involved in those cases. And when it comes to classified information, you're talking to the intelligence community to make yes. sure they're okay? 